Hello, Church of Our Savior. So glad to see you today on Wednesday for Noonday Prayers. Uh, just really grateful that you are sticking with it, that you are having your prayer time uh, each day. And so you know, whether you're praying this at noon or any time during the day or whether it's not even Wednesday anymore and you're just uh, catching back up, so glad that you are taking the time to be with me, uh, with your church, and with your Lord. So let's begin the service of Noonday Prayer, page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I thought today I would read the very shortest psalm in the whole Psalter, Psalm 117. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol him, all peoples, for great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Just a great, hearty, short, wonderful uh, psalm. So I want to speak to you today about, um, about love, which sounds like a very churchy thing to talk about. Uh, uh, sometimes guys get a little queasy when when the ministers start talking about love. But um, I want to read the famous love passage. I want to talk about uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is a passage that is read in most weddings, I would say. Um, not Maybe not all, but most weddings that I've been a part of. And um, and some funerals. In fact, the, the most recent funeral that I, uh, that I presided over included... 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I want to talk about it because I wonder if you if we can read it with um, quarantined eyes. How are you doing? How are you holding up uh, being inside? I know things have started to open up a little bit. I heard that um, Don Juan's and uh, Lenop and all these places are packed. I don't know, probably more than 25%. Um, and so, uh, you know, I just, uh, people are just ready to get out and, um, and find a reason to celebrate. And, uh, and yet many of us are still in our homes. Many of us are still uh, here. We're getting a little weary. We're not really sure um, when, when this is all going to open up. When can we go back to work? When can we get, go back to church? It, it can create a little uh, irritability and a little short patience. How are you doing with that? Uh, let me read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but I have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but I have not love, I gain nothing. See, Paul's not really talking about marriage. He's really talking about uh, leadership, actually, within the church. If I uh, speak in tongues, if I, um, but I don't have love, I'm just a clanging symbol. If I uh, have all powers, uh, all faith is to remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing, he says. And this is what he says about love. Think about this first. In, in terms of how you're doing, uh, all cooped up inside, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, Love never ends. And then he finishes up the chapter. So now faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. Now, I don't know about you. When I started thinking, I read that passage in light of uh, homeschooling and just being all over each other all the time in our house. I thought, mm, I might have a little work to do. But before we rush to that, before we rush to well, I got to be more patient. I got to be more kind. I've got to um, quit insisting on my own way. All that, I've got to get my act together. Before we do that, I want you to hear this. No matter what, 
You are loved by God. You are loved by Jesus with a love that is patient, a love that is kind, with a love that keeps no record of wrongs, with a love that is not arrogant or rude, that bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and never ends. That is how you are loved. It is not conditional upon how well you're doing right now. If you got it all together, if your house is, a, is pristine and spotless because you are uh, OCD and you've just been cleaning, 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 or your house is a wreck uh, because you just can't get motivated, uh, whether you have been jumped all over by your family, whether you've been doing the jumping, you are loved. Whether you're at home alone and hadn't seen anybody in weeks other than at the grocery store and people running away from you, you are loved with this kind of love by the Lord God himself. Once that is true, and because that is true, in response to that incredible love, it's a good idea for us to love on other people like that. That's how we shine his light. And it is so important for us in this time to shine his light, uh, both for ourselves and certainly for those around us, is how we serve by shining this light. So yes, it's a good idea if we've been a little irritable to apologize, to work on it, to get a good night's sleep, take a walk. But before anything, know that God loves you. This is about him. This is a passage about the love of God for you. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for... Uh, the, the strength, the fierceness, the compassion, the patience of your love. Thank you for the gentleness and the boldness of your love. Thank you for your self-sacrifice in your love and your resurrection in your love. God Almighty, we, I pray that we would embrace and receive the love that you have for us. It is not circumstantial. It is not based on uh, what we have done. It is not conditional. It is not uh, absent when things aren't going our way or we can't get outside or whatever it is. Uh, you love us with a love that is patient and kind. And we thank you for that. And we pray, God, that you would give us the grace to love others like that uh, because you have first loved us. We do pray, God, for our, our country, uh, for the leaders who are making decisions about reopening. Uh, we pray for uh, the virus to be taken away, this plague on our, on our land. We pray for those who are sick, that you would heal them and make them well. And we pray for those who are caring uh, for all the sick and those who are supporting those who are caring. We pray for ourselves. We may shine your light and shine your love. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you. My own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church. And give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So glad to be with you today. 
look forward to that uh, time where we can uh, hug your neck and high five you. Until then, I hope these videos are an encouragement to you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.